Inuyasha was one of the first anime I grew up watching as a child. And Shippo for me was the white character I felt connected with because he was just mis mischievous. He was always causing trouble, he was cute, he was rambunctious, and I just connected with him. Plus his design's cute, it gave me an excuse to sew fur and learn new skills with embroidery. So tell me about the process of putting it together. So process-wise, it's from an altered pattern. It's about seven layers all together. There's undergarments, uh, two line kimonos, fur vests, fur, because you know, you've got to have the important feet in the pictures. Wow. <laughs> and that comes with the wobbly tail. Oh, I can't not go all out on him. Uh, the kimono top itself is completely embroidered. The wig is styled by me. It's one of the cosplays that I'm able to get around in by myself and one of the ones that I've enjoyed wearing by myself. Honestly, a lot of people get surprised because nobody cosplays Shippo. You'll see your Inuyasha, you'll see Kagome, you'll see Moroku every once in a while. Nobody ever sees Shippo. Shippo is just an enigma character. Like, nobody knows why. And everybody loves it. Like, a lot of people won't recognize me unless I've got, like, an Inuyasha with me. Yeah. But it's such good responses, like, especially when even kids know who you are. Because that, no, that shows you they're watching the right anime. They're growing <laughs> up with the good stuff. There you go, there you go.